In this video, I'm going to be showing you all the ways to make money and LP in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And if I miss anything, make sure to comment down below a better way if you found out on how to make money or LP. One of the early game ways to get items is by just running around the Asado Desert and picking up a bunch of items. You just basically, if you have the running ability or the dash, it's a little bit easier to, to quick, quickly grab and press A. You just run around, collect all these expensive items on the floor. You can day reset or hour reset in order to get them to respawn again. And Cerebi provided a good list of all the items that you can get when you're running around. So even if you're mid game or end game and you need a little bit more extra cash in order to purchase something, maybe from the auction house, are low on funds because you spammed it on a bunch of Pokeballs, well, you can just quickly come here and grab some monies off the floor, pick them up, and it should be good. Another great area that you can go to and pick up items is gonna be East Province Area 3. This is a great place to also spam and get a bunch of items. So again, if you see sparkly things on the floor, like Smooth Rock, these items sell for pretty good money. So just pick those up, run around, grab what you need in this area. And if you need to do the day skipping, you can do that as well. Once you feel like you got all the expensive items on a certain route that you've discovered, I'm not exactly putting down the route because you guys might come up with your own specific routes to farm money here. But then once you're all done with this, you can sell the items, save, do the date skip, come back, go on your route, do it again. And the best places sometimes that a lot of people suggest is just following the main path. You should find a couple of sparkly items that give good drops like there. And as you're picking items up in this area, here is a list that Cerebi also has of some of all the great items that you can find while running around in this area so take a look at that screenshot it if you want i will make sure to link everything down in the description below as well this money method requires you to have a little bit more stronger pokemon in order to do this but what you're going to want to do is head over to medali on the east side once you arrive in medali you're going to want to go around and talk to this guy here this guy will tell you once you defeat five trainers you'll get a lovely prize and this prize that you get once you just go around this area beat all the trainers is going to be the amulet coin and what the amulet coin is going to do is once you equip it to a pokemon at the front of your party it's going to increase the prize money you get from battles this will essentially help you get more money from every trainer battle every gym battle the elite four the final part of the game which we'll talk about just money everywhere this is just good to have and will increase all the great money amounts you'll get in the game. Before we move on to the next method, I'm going to need you to hit that subscribe button. Hitting that subscribe button lets me know that you enjoy these videos, and I'll keep pumping them out. Thank you. Another great way to earn money in this game is by using Pokemon such as Meowth with Payday, Persian with Payday as well, because the, the higher level, the more money. And you have an option of Goldango, which knows a move called Make It Rain. The difference is Goldango is a lot stronger than Persian, and it's a stab on top of that, which is really good. So it hits more, basically. The Persian's move is also a stab, but Goldango is a lot stronger. So that's an option. So we can just show you real quick what happens when you fight a Pokemon here. Here is a Psyduck, and basically Godango's here, and we're going to be fighting it, and all we got to do is hit Make It Rain, baby. All those coins be- oh, that's a lot of rain. <laughs> then the coins get scattered everywhere, you knock out the Psyduck, and you picked up 370. So you can do this on Pokemon while you're in the way. Another way we can maximize money out by using either Payday on Meowth or Make It Rain on Golden Goo, we can try to fight some trainers. So what I'm going to do here is just save in front of the trainer to show you some of the money differences. And let's fight him. So this is going to be attempt one. We've earned 160 in prize money. Okay, we're going to do make it rain now. Got 160 in prize money and an extra 370 if you saw that. Okay, this time we have the amulet coin attached to Godango. We're going to also use its make it rain move and take out this trainer. Okay, 320 in prize money and 740 picked up. Uh, obviously, this example is just, you know, not a lot of money, but it's a great way to figure out, hey, this is how do I maximize my money when I'm battling trainers throughout the Paudea region. And as you move to harder trainers, you're going to get more money. And you can do this also in big battles like the Elite Four, anywhere, basically any battle in the game. Do this. It's just extra money for no reason. And it's great. And if you didn't want to collect 999 coins to get Godengu, you simply just have to do this with Persian and Payday. And Meowths are plenty in the area the best places to find me out by the way are going to be around this town right and in front of medali there's gonna be a bunch of me outs here and to get gimme ghouls all you know is you gotta find them in ruins and towers in the little treasure chest pretty simple to find them another way that you can collect rare items and get extra money in your game is by catching pokemon 
with the ability called Pickup. And what Pickup is going to do essentially is after every single one of your battles, the Pokemon have a chance of having an item on it. So the best method to do this is go ahead and just catch five Grievards. There's other Pokemon with Pickup, but for this video, I wanted just to use the new ones. So I got my whole entire squad of Grievards here, and you can see that they do all have the ability called Pickup. This is going to be really big. So basically, the higher level your Grievards or whatever Pokemon you have that has Pickup, the better items you'll get as you keep battling Pokemon. They have a random chance of picking it up. So let's just go ahead and battle some Pokemon here and see if we get anything on our dogs. Okay, I did a few battles on this hill to give you an example. I didn't really want to leave the spot, but... You can see that our Grievards, if you look at the little icons, have started to pick up some items. Again, the higher level your Pokemon is, the better items it can get. Eventually, if these Grievards all hit level 100, I'm going to start having very high chances of picking up things like bottle caps and rare items that you'll be finding around in the desert. And you can just start selling off these items to make money or just use them to IV max a Pokemon stat out. Those are great options to do, but this is another thing that you can keep in mind with a bunch of Grievards or any Pokemon that you choose with pickup. Okay, for reference, the Tiny Mushroom is going to be worth 250 Poke Dollars, the Big Mushroom 2,500, Pearl 1,000, Big Pearl 4,000, Pearl String 10,000, the Stardust at 1,500, Star Piece at 6,000, the Nugget is 5,000, the Big Nugget is 20k, Pretty Wing is 500, and Rare Bone are 2,500. So just screenshot this if you want to keep this as reference for the expensive items. If you don't care, just sell off all these items and see how much money you get. Another great way to earn some good cash in the game is to do the Terra Raids. The higher the star difficulty, the more items that drop that you could eventually sell for money. One stars are going to give the lowest rewards, but it's great in the early game. Two stars, three stars, four stars, just the same amount of stuff pretty much. And once you enter the higher tier range of five and six, you're going to get good items in, in multiple quantity that you can sell for good amounts of money in the game. Battling wild Terra Pokemon, the ones that are glowing yellow that you interact with in the world, are great ways to also earn LP. You can either KO them or catch them and add them to your collection. Depending on the level of the Pokemon and where they are and the higher difficulty is the amount of LP you'll get for doing them. Interacting with Terra Raid Dens is a great way to get LP. You don't necessarily have to enter them. All you have to do is just click on them when they're sparkling and glowy. You can see this is a three-star Terra Raid Den. I'm going to pop off and I earned a thousand LP from clicking on a three-star one. To essentially farm Terra Raid Stars, you just want to open up your map, see which ones are available and just click on them, head over towards them. This is a two-star Terra Raid Den and you get 700 LP. Four-star Terra Raids will give you 1,200 LP and interacting with five-star Terra Raid Dens will give you 1,500. Six star raids, which is defined by a purple glowing icon, are going to be giving you, wow, that's a cool six star raid. They're going to be giving you 1,800 LP. And six star raids you can reset by doing the day skip in this game. So you can constantly get 1.8k if you don't want to run around, but I think running around and hitting multiple Terra Raid Dens is a lot easier. This is a great way to earn LP. All you have to do is simply go to the TM machine and exchange materials for LP. Now, it depends on what materials you have because depending on the rarity of the Pokemon or the frequency of how much you get is the amount of LP. And what I've noticed is one of the best LPs to get in the game are going to be over 100. And the only Pokemon that you could spam over 100 of them and get tons, as you can see, I have 579 Hapini does. This is from the experience level up method. For that, all you have to do is just make a basic ham sandwich that increases the normal encounter power. Fight a bunch of chances. They're all going to be dropping the specific Hapini item. And if you want to check that out after this video, you can watch the experience guide. Great stuff there. And it's good for early game, end game, wherever you want to basically do this farm. And 150 LP so far has been one of the biggest LPs I've seen in the game. Hapini does 150 LP. Let's see what happens when we sell 579. Here we go. I just made 86 thousand lp from that and i wasn't even really trying i was focusing on experience farming and i got that so this is a really passive way to make lp a really good end game strategy to get a bunch of money is the academy ace tournament this is accessible in the post game and basically all you have to do is walk into whatever academy you are in depending on the version of the game and walk over to the desk recipient and once you're there he's going to mention something about the ace tournament once you enter the ace tournament you're going to be fighting four traders and if you have the amulet coin attached to your main pokemon who is supposed to sweep everything it's a great idea to have a high level pokemon this should take you about 20 minutes or less depending on your strategy for this fight and how broken your main leading pokemon is and you should net over 
over a hundred K plus hundred to 120 K per run with amulet coin. If you want to get away with Pokemon also using payday or make it rain, that might be an option if you could figure out how to do that with these tournaments. It might take longer, but it might be worth the money. Go ahead and try that as well. But that's the best method for the end game farming when it comes to money. This way is very effective because you're also leveling up a lot of Pokemon in your party because it's very good experience on top of very good money. So those who combine make this a very good end game strategy. It's a big money and big experience all at the same time. Of course, the biggest way of getting a lot of LP and money is from just doing the main story. They give so much. Gym battles give a lot. Team star battles give a lot of LP. There's just so much to get from just playing the game normally. But these other methods are just great for using if you need to add that extra cash to your wallet. There are a lot of other things to do in this game. So check out this video right over here. You won't regret it.